If there's one thing that brings our divided nation together, it's our hatred of junk fees. Junk fees are extra charges. You don't know you're paying until you get the bill. They hide the true cost when you buy a good or service, so it's impossible to comparison shop. For example, say I want to travel to go see my favorite musician, Dolly Parton, play at Nashville's Grand Ole Opry. When I book my plane ticket, I have to fork up extra cash to bring luggage or change my flight. My grandkids are more into Blippi than Dolly. So they won't be traveling with me. Otherwise, I might have to pay a fee just to sit with them. I need a rental car once I land, so I'll be stuck paying an extra fee to pick up the car at the airport. And another fee they never told me about to cover the rental company's costs for disposing old tires. Seriously? When I pay my hotel bill, the price is way higher than I thought I'd pay when I booked the room to cover Wi-Fi, pool access, a gym, state and local taxes, and other special fees. Before I get to the show, I better look at my checking account balance if I want to buy a record. Even if I see that I have enough money to make a purchase, the timing of other charges hitting my account could result in me getting slapped with a surprise overdraft fee. It's a simple mistake, but could make a $20 record end up costing $50. Oh, and don't forget the concert tickets themselves. Major ticket sellers like Ticketmaster tack on fees to attend shows, which can drive up the final ticket price as much as 78% higher than what I was told the initial price was. It's all bait and switch. You thought you could afford to see Dolly Parton, but it turns out it's gonna take a lot more than working nine to five. Corporations often label these types of charges convenience fees or service fees, probably because they conveniently serve to pad their bottom lines, costing Americans at least $29 billion a year we didn't expect to pay. This is a huge problem spanning many different industries, not just the ones I'd encounter on my trip. But there is good news. President Biden has urged Congress to draw up legislation to prevent these outrageous fees. We're tired of being played for suckers. Pass the Junk Free Prevention Act so companies stop ripping us off. Turns out one of the few things as popular as Dolly Parton is tackling junk fees. It's time for Congress to act. What are some of the worst junk fees you have ever paid? Let me know in the comments.